is definitely highlighted and raised concerns for the people who maybe were just coping and that as soon as stuff got a little bit bad they've really struggled and now it's kind of sustained and things are getting even harder it's not going to stop and just because it's Christmas doesn't mean that things are suddenly easy for everyone. Hi I'm Hannah I'm from Transforming Plymouth Together and we are in St Mark's in Ford in Plymouth and normally this is a church but over lockdown we have turned it into a warehouse for our food that goes out with our feast of fun at home hampers. People are genuinely thankful and you just hear it over and over again, I don't know what we would have done without you, which is incredibly heartwarming and encouraging because we're not doing all that that much in a sense, you know, compared to um, the folks that have to live with this every day and yet we are able to step in and just make a little difference, which is great. In this particular area, people don't want to, to say, they don't want to let people know that they're struggling. Um, and it is really sad to see the need that is out there. There are families that literally don't have enough food for their children. And I mean, that does tug at your heartstrings. And um, we are seeing that in reality with, with people who are struggling to make ends meet. And, and that's where we have the privilege of just stepping in and being able to, to at least help in some small way towards that. Today we're doing one of our hamper collections. At the moment we are providing holiday hunger hampers for up to 50 families. We've been doing this work for well, well over a year now with Transforming Plymouth Together. They were the first ones to alert us to child poverty in Plymouth. And um, so working with our local primary schools, we've been providing help with holiday hunger for quite a while now. The sad thing I would have to say is that although we saw the problem last year, it's a growing problem this year. The wonderful thing is the food provision and the awareness amongst the local community, amongst church community, amongst everyone, that there is food poverty here in our own cities with our own neighbours has grown and grown and grown. It's, it's not just about the food, it being part of a food bank for us because anyone could do that. As churches we want to share Christ's love and that's what we're trying to do here. So we've got big plans again for 2021. We are doing some more hampers, carrying on with a very merry feast of fun, trying to keep the spirits up in January and we'll be carrying on as long as we can to support as many families in need across the city as we can. If you'd like to find out more or you'd like to get involved with our Feast of Fun project, do get in touch with us at transformingplymouthtogether.org.uk. We'd love to hear from you, to share more about what we do. If you'd like to volunteer, if you'd like to donate, or if you'd like to get your church involved in Feast of Fun, we'd love to hear from you. Merry Christmas!